Yeah, nobody caught her. I don't blame them. <laughs> Fucking angel. Oh, that was so cute. That was that was really cute. I enjoyed that a lot. Hey, what's up, peeps? Welcome back for another video. Today, I have for you Has Been Hotel Season 1, Episode 3, Scrambled Eggs. Now, unlike the last episode where I knew that we were going to get introduced to Vox, I know absolutely nothing about this episode. So I am very, very excited to kind of like get into it completely blind without any spoilers. It's still amazing how I haven't really gotten any spoilers for the show yet. I don't really know how that's possible. So, you know what? I'm just going to not, you know, bug it or bug the logic or whatever the fuck. I'm really enjoying Husband Hotel so far. I think it's awesome. It's getting so much praise and I think it's well deserved. Viv is absolutely killing this show so far and I'm just super excited to see what this episode has in store for me and the rest of the season and we even have a season two coming so I am very happy about that. This show is absolutely awesome like this is this fucking show is a masterpiece but I kind of just want to get into it so let me end this by saying if you guys like this video and like what you see or you just find yourself coming back on the regular please do like and subscribe it would really help out a lot and remember guys if you want to see this full length video as well as early access to content a private patreon discord server movie requests and a whole bunch of other goodies then go down to the patreon link down below but with all that being said let's go ahead and watch has been hotel season one episode three scrambled eggs Penchus is staying at the hotel. Um, Penchus was just trying to take over the city with his weird steampunk bullshit a few days ago. Well, I haven't seen him try to pull any of that here. Ah! Oh, there you go. Thank you for your business. Enjoy your Carmine purchase. Carmine? As in Carmilla Carmine? You are buying parts from an overlord? Carmilla Carmine. Okay, we have a new character now. So Carmilla Carmine, she's an overlord, the top weapons dealer in hell. Wow. So this is where you get all of your tools and supplies from to make all your fucking inventions. Vaggy's not having it. <laughs> By the way, I have heard of like the uh, the theory that she is like a fallen angel. That is a theory that I have heard about many times. Now that I am starting to think about that theory, it does make a lot of sense how like intense she is. She seems like she really knows how to handle herself in like combat. And the fact that her main weapon of choice is a spear, the same kinds of spears that the exterminators use. That that is the theory that she was an ex exterminator and uh, she was a she's fallen. And um, I don't really know if that's true or not, but I'm hoping that if that is true, then we get like a whole episode about her or some shit like that, because that's actually a really good fucking theory. I wish I thought of that. Uh, I'm not going to take credit for it, but I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and say that, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So if it happens, it happens. But like if we do get an episode about about Vaggy, I really do want to learn like her backstory or whatever the fuck, because, you know, she's a very interesting character and we haven't really gotten anything on her yet. I'd say the same with uh, Husk. Her and Husk have gotten the least amount of development, and I'm actually really upset about that because Vaggy and Husk are two very, very, very interesting characters. So, yeah, I, I, if this is a real theory and so many people are on the bandwagon, I feel like it's most likely true. Um, I wouldn't say it'd be confirmed in the show. It'd most likely be something that's inferred, but, you know, that's a really cool theory. Shit. Yeah, I don't blame you. No more building weapons. No more plotting against other guests. I need to get rid of these things. Oh, 
What did I just say? What did I just <laughs> Do you want to stay here and redeem yourself? Yes. Then no more eggs. All right, eggies. You've got to go. I can't keep you anymore. Okay, boy. <laughs> I mean, that that is uh it's like i was saying like serpentius actually likes it here like he's actually having fun in the last episode i said it really seems like he's enjoying himself and i feel like he's really gonna be like one of the guests that really does redeem himself and now it's pretty much like saying yeah he's here because he likes to be here and he really does want to try and i like that a lot i like that he's really trying and serpentius is becoming a really good character and so i'm, I'm kind of enjoying this oh i do feel bad for him what are you in the middle of breakfast okay wait someone told me in the live premiere chat in the last episode that he's a deer so are you eating a fucking deer you are eating a deer why the fuck are you eating a deer it's not even cooked it's just raw like i don't like i don't usually like shame people for eating something but this is cannibalism it isn't this this is cannibalism <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry about the cough by the way I kind of woke up today with like something in my fucking chest I don't know it's like I'm, I don't know if I'm getting sick again but yeah that looks disgusting yeah no <laughs> What the fuck? Angel! <laughs> Angel! Angel is pushing, pushing Hus to his fucking limit. I keep noticing that whenever Angel has, like, someone that he wants to, like, flirt with or anything, like, I have noticed that, like, most people would just let it, like, go because Vaggie would kill him, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't do it to Vaggie. He doesn't do it to Charlie because Charlie's too wholesome for him to do that to. I feel like that's his, like, reasoning, like... He doesn't want to do it to Charlie. Penchus, you know, is just, just kind of ignores it. Nifty, who the fuck knows? And so <laughs> literally like his only choice to like mess with someone is Husk. Cause Husk like gives him the reaction that he is seeking. I'd never think of it, spider. Right, well. I have heard that too, that he is a spider. What? Uh, I don't know if I'm qualified to- Oh, come on! It'll be easy. I'm sure you can handle this. Yeah. Um, sure. I can handle this. No problem. And that's from the trailer. <laughs> All right, so we are starting with Trust Fall! <laughs> Goes to military. That's another thing, too, is that people have mentioned that uh, she, like, has military training or something like that. So, yeah, this is kind of, like, Convincing me that maybe the theories are correct. I'm still not a hundred percent sure Fucking Charlie <laughs> There's the spear again. Well, how about this? I love to suck. I swear to fuck if you say dick. <laughs> oh, you sicko. Catch your mind out of the gun. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, dicks too. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love angel dust. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. This was not a good day to watch this. I'm already having a trouble- I'm already having enough trouble fucking breathing and speaking properly because of my fucking lungs tonight- today. This was a bad day to start watching this. Uh, Nifty? <laughs> so 
Sometimes I kill mother bugs in front of their children as a warning to others. <laughs> yeah, nobody caught her. I don't blame them. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know if this is really what. <laughs> Zestial. <laughs> He's very feared. <laughs> oh, I just took a well earned sabbatical. Nothing serious. Though it's fun to keep everyone on that. That wasn't suspicious at all, Alistair. Ooh. That was suspicious. <laughs> I just took a well-earned sabbatical, nothing serious. Dude, that is sus. This is confirming, or not really confirming, but this is like hinting at my theory more and more that that Alistair has gone off. He has some connection to Lilith's disappearance. That is my working theory. He has something to do with her disappearance. So yeah, Alistair, like if you would guys if you guys want to hear my my theory, I would definitely go suggest to see the last episode because I explained my theory pretty much on there. Yeah, you're sus, Alistair. Welcome, Hell Sovereign Overlords. I've invited you all here because you represent the controlling powers of our city. Oh! Those are the girls from before who sold fucking, um, Penches the Weapons. So, are you Camilla? Zestial, so good to see you, my friend. Enchanted as always, Camilla. Alistair? Yeah, that is Camilla. I know, I've been absent some time. I'm sure you've all been wondering. Not really. <laughs> Wow. We have estimated that about 16% of the population was lost. With the other agents now returning twice as quickly, I think it proved to be. Yes, I thought it had no fault. So you're down with me? Really? Me? Hi, Velvet. Nice of you to join us, Velvet. Will your colleagues be joining? No, they have better shit to do than to listen to an old windbag who thinks she's tough shit. Wow. On the subject of discussion. Oh, the fucking angel head! Velvet killed it! Velvet, Velvet killed the angel! Wow. Okay. This, this makes me very nervous about Velvet. Where did you get this? Tasty. We found it during extermination <clears throat> day. If these holy rollers can be killed, the game has changed. Oh, so you just found it. Okay. Never mind. I would actually not mind if hell took the war to the angels let uh, the extermination angels okay let me rephrase that if they went to ha or, or heaven <clears throat> i'm getting heaven and hell mixed up if the people from hell go up to heaven to kill the extermination angels that would be a good thing because <laughs> uh, the extermination angels have gotten away with this for long enough <laughs> we know not how this perished Mayhaps was not by a demon's hand at all. If we rush to war without knowing mightn't, they oh, purge all of hell for daring and That is true. What if an angel is the one who killed that angel? I mean, no one, no demon has been able to kill an angel for decades. For centuries even, right? That would make sense if an angel is the one who turned on them. Because it was just one body. Huh. That would make a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> never mind. I take back it. I take it back. I take it back. That's not a good idea. <laughs> Ooh, Carmilla. Did you kill this angel? That look is suspicious. Oh. 
Ooh. True. Thanks to my being respectless, one thing I'm starting to suspect is you know why this angel's headless. Do you have a disclosure? This meeting's over. That was a productive meeting. <laughs> Alistair. Um, okay. I'm not too sure about that song, actually. I think that's the first song that's kind of like meh. I don't know. I wasn't a fan of that one. It was catchy uh, towards the end. But I wasn't a huge fan of that one. I don't like Velvet either. We'll get into this in a second. Oh, Angel. Okay. So, I did want to say, like, that's not creepy at all. Or, that's not going to work at all. Being like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> While trying to follow two people. Two overlords, matter of fact. So, what the fuck? <laughs> why did you do this, Alistair? He's going to get caught immediately. I don't know why you're trying to use these egg boys to your advantage. No activity requires more trust than BDSM, baby. <laughs> Angel! Husk was actually kind of enjoying himself. Husk and Angel have more in common than we thought. Okay, so <laughs> fucking Nifty has to ruin it, of course. I just need to teach them the way I was taught. Combat. There is nothing stronger than the trust between comrades in arms. Buckle up, buttercups, because today you boys become men. Like I said, like people have been saying, like, yeah, she learned like combat and she like has military background, or that's what it seems like at least. And I'm really am starting to believe this uh this theory that she really is a fallen exterminator. This this is where I think it's going. It seems like it's leading up to that. So I don't know. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. What the fuck, Faggy? No! No! Not Angel! Husk! Husk! I took charge today and it all went sideways. I'm supposed to make your dreams a reality. I'm supposed to protect you. I'm supposed to never fail you. Oh. Angel! <laughs> oh, fucking Angel. Did you hear him in the background? I'm supposed to never fail you. I blame you for this, you crazy bitch. You didn't fail me. Baggy, you're not. You're not. Come on, Baggy. You. What's the point of me? Oh. I'm sorry. I'd, I'd like to be alone for a minute. No. No, I don't like this. Oh, she did kill the angel. singing oh sorry hold on i gotta go back and listen to a lyric that she said a brand new place stranger in a brand new place 
That might contribute to the theory that she was a fallen angel or just she died and came here. I don't know. I, I just feel, I don't know. That might contribute to the theory. I don't know. Wait, she has an eye patch? I'm so sorry for interrupting the song, but I never noticed that until now. Vaggy has a full on eye patch. I didn't even notice that. I think it's because like the X goes over her hair. So I think that's why I never really noticed that. I, I guess I really just didn't like pay attention or I thought she just had an X over her eye or whatever. But she legit has a fucking eye patch. That was such a good song. Can I say how cute that was too? Like Vaggy's lyrics about Charlie, like, I'll be your armor, spend the rest of my life being your partner. Like, oh, that was so cute. That was, that was really cute. I enjoyed that a lot. That, that was really cute. And then what was that last thing? She killed the angel. Interesting. Hmm. Well, let's keep this between us. <laughs> you got it, boss. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry, sorry about the crazy bit. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I put pressure on you. We were just a team. I guess I just thought all this would be easier, but we'll figure it out together. I mean, look what your exercise did for them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're getting along. <laughs> <laughs> and the knife lady killed an angel, and I was not supposed to talk about it. Oh, Dude! I'm so sure, and maybe you'll meet Martians tomorrow. Penches is not paying attention. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe Penches now knows? That was Hasman Hotel, season one, episode three. Scrambled eggs. I enjoyed that episode a lot. Towards the end, it got really, really cute um, with that other song with uh, Vaggy. I really like, I, I, I don't like how it was a duet between a character I don't really care for and then a character that I just wanted to hear more of. Um, I don't know about that duet, uh, but the song was really, really good itself. Um, the other one with Velvet, I wasn't really a fan of that one. Particularly because not only was it so short, but it just wasn't as good as the other ones and the fact that Velvet's in it. I just think that she's like so rude and I, I just don't like her. Like, with characters like Vox, who is also a villain, he has a charm to him. Velvet kinda doesn't. You know what I mean? Vox is a likable villain. To those of you who do like Velvet, I am so sorry, but I just find her annoying. I don't find her charming at all. She doesn't have moments of decency like Vox does. She doesn't have any good moments. I'm sorry. She's just fucking annoying. I'm sorry. Alistair kind of went on his own mission during this episode. Um, he had the little egg boys uh, from Sir Penches. He was supposed to get rid of them, but he actually used them to his advantage to find out that uh, Carmilla is the person who killed that angel in episode one. So we now know that Carmilla is able to kill angels and we know that she has that secret, but she won't be telling hell itself because then hell will want to start a war. Very good decision. I thought it was a good idea to just go up there and kill all the exterminators so we'd never have to deal with this problem ever again. But yeah, uh, Zestiel made a good point to where what if demons really can't kill an angel and if 
it was just another angel. So I kind of took back that and then I, we found out that Carmilla was the one who killed uh, that angel. So I don't really know how to feel because um, it kind of like flipped back and forth between a good point, then a good point, then a good point, then a good point. So I kind of just don't know how to feel about the whole thing. I don't really know what I'm in favor of or anything like that. And then we had Charlie kind of like do trust exercises. That's kind of where this whole episode went. And then like she let Vaggy take the lead. Kind of didn't turn out so well for the majority of the episode. But uh, the last thing that she did was put them into like a little fight area uh, with a bunch of people. And they kind of like bonded everyone. But you know, Vaggy does like have that internal conflict that she wants to make Charlie's dreams come true. And when she can't do her part as well as she has hoped that she would, you know, she gets upset about it because like she doesn't want to disappoint Charlie. She doesn't want to let her down. And that was really sweet to see, but also really sad to see. Um, I, I just like, I just love Charlie and Vaggie so much. I, I just wish we got a little more time of them being a cup, uh, couple though. I wish they had more like screen time. Maybe in season two we'll get more of that. Um, but you know, I understand like for season one, you know, it's important to move the plot along, to move the story along, to really start off with a bang. You know, that's completely fine. I just hope that somewhere down the line, we just get more of, you know, them, you know? Of the, just them being cute, of being a couple, just more screen time because it's only little snippets here and there. I think that'll do it for the discussion. I don't think I really have anything else to be talking about. And yeah, like there was a lot of like pieces of suspicion that really does hint towards this ongoing theory that Vaggie is a fallen angel. It, it seems very like far fetched for me to believe it, but it would make a lot of sense for her character and that would be a pretty good like backstory for her but i just feel like people would have found out by now if that was really true but you know if, if that does happen where she really is a fallen angel you know that would be pretty cool to see otherwise i think that's gonna do it for the discussion i don't really think i have anything else to be talking about today so let me just end this by saying if you guys like this video and like what you saw or you just find yourself coming back on the regular, please do like and subscribe, it would really help out a lot. And remember guys, if you want to see this full length reaction as well as other reactions as well as early access to content, a private Patreon Discord server, movie requests, and a whole bunch of other goodies, then go down to the Patreon link down below. But I hope you all enjoyed this video, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>